the Mile High City, framed against the scenic front range of the Rocky Mountains. I'm Dan Hicks with Tim Dagg at Elfie Schlegel and Beth Ruiak at the McNichol Sports Arena. This is the first of two nights of the women's competition and the standings after the first rotation. The event finals decided on this first night. No compulsories for the first time, with 50% of the scores being carried over to tomorrow's all-around finals. And there is the youngest national champion ever at age 13 a couple of years ago trying to bounce back after a tough beam routine in 20th place Dominique Mochianu, a part of the gold medal team in Atlanta last year. Meanwhile last year's national junior champion Vanessa Atler just 15 years old and in third place after the first rotation. This is the leader Kristen Maloney in first place after a solid beginning on the vault. Dan, I asked Kristen about how she was feeling coming into these national championships, and she said much better prepared, far more experienced, and she attributes that to a lot of competitions this year. She's ready for this one. And this event truly is critical for Kristen. We have seen her struggle in the past. She is much improved on this event, however. Uh oh mm. You know, I didn't see Kristen miss that release one time the entire week of training. You know, it's a shame because we've just talked about her confidence heading into this championship, and this is one event that she has really worked hard on. She has changed her bar routine since the American Cup, where she had problems again on this event. Of course, that's a 5 tenth deduction. That'll definitely take her way out of the lead. New dismount, very nicely done, but you still got that fall in five-tenths of a point. That hurts. So Kristen Maloney, after a solid start on the vault, comes back down to earth in her second event, the uneven bars. You know, it's a real shame because she was looking very good, as Tim said, in practice. Nice and high on the bar. I thought she had it. Looked like she just had fingertip control, but... Again, five-tenths of a deduction is a huge, huge error. Yeah, it really looked like she should have held on, I'll tell you. Eight, six, seven, five for Maloney on the bars. Now Vanessa Atler, one of the rising stars in the gymnastic scene, but 48 days too young. The new age requirement that a gymnast must be 16 years old in the calendar year to compete internationally, or in this case at the Worlds in just three weeks. So no matter how she finishes in the top six, she still won't be able to compete. And you know, Dan, her coaches, Steve and Beth Rybecki, said that that's really taken the pressure off this championship because they've been able to concentrate on new skills on every event. Excellent first opening tumbling pass, but what I've noticed so far is she moves very quickly on the balance beam, but she really rushed that first tumbling event. Most coaches say their athletes, when they get into a pressure situation, tend to get a little conservative, a little careful. Vanessa's coaches say sometimes she's too aggressive. That a new skill right there. Very difficult, nicely done. And the music you're hearing in the background from the floor exercise from another competitor. Four events taking place simultaneously. One thing that really stands out with Vanessa on the balance beam is she's aggressive. You can see this already in all her movements. She really attacks the skills, but she has to be very concerned about this dismount coming up. Just a couple of days ago, had a terrible crash. Very nicely done dismount. She actually took a full twist out, being a little bit careful. What Beth was talking about was this tumbling run. She rushed it, not typical of Vanessa's work. Much more difficult when you land two feet at once like that, get some extra bonus points, but you do see that leg come up and that will of course be a deduction. Well, the score not disastrous at 8.95, but still not what she would have hoped for. 
the beam always a nerve-wracking event, and it was Dominique Mociano who had an even rougher time on the beam to begin this competition at 8-7, so trying to dig her way out of a 20th place in the standings after the first rotation. Now on the floor, exercise. And this actually can be a very good routine for her. She's got all kinds of new tumbling passes in this exercise. alone gains her five tenths in bonus points. This is the tumbling pass she should be concerned with. She's attempting a triple twist. You know, that was not quite completed. The judges may take a deduction for that. Same familiar smile from Dominique Mociano, but a lot has changed since last year's Olympics. No longer trains with the legendary coach Bella Caroli. She and her family have opened up Mociano Gymnastics Incorporated, a huge 70,000 square foot gym, which they've put all of their money into. Well, maybe altitude has something to do with this exercise, but you know, she's really not in the best of shape. She's only had two months of practice to get this routine into shape. She's tried to throw new skills, four tumbling passes, all the choreography in one minute and 30 seconds. This is a tough routine for Dominique at this point in time. So concerned about her physical condition, she actually thought about not competing in this championship, but a good score on the floor exercise, a 9-6 will move her up from 20th place. So let's now assess the competition midway through the second rotation. Tim and Elfie, Dominique Mociano, the champion a couple of years ago, rough start. How do you look at her chances the rest of the way? Uh, Dan, I don't know. Coming up on her third event vault, she's not even sure herself what she's going to perform. She took about half a year, didn't even train the vaulting event. So she's still a little bit iffy on that event. And then her bar routine, it's brand spanking new. And I think she doesn't have a lot of confidence on that event as well. But don't forget, Olympic gold medalist. And that experience is worth more than a few hours in the gym. The United States Gymnastics Championships are brought to you by John Hancock, worldwide Olympic sponsor. Insurance for the unexpected, investments for the opportunities. Well, you might not recognize the winner of the prestigious American Cup a couple of years ago, Christy Powell. A new haircut three months ago, the braces are off. Large expectations followed her big win, but she failed to make the Olympic team last year. Came into the gym a few weeks ago, and her coach, Mary Lee Tracy, said, Christy, you seem so down. And she said, well, it's my anniversary of not making the team.
with the changes in the new code of points and the stricter rules, many of the athletes having to do four tumbling passes, this will be her fourth. Christy Powell, who has battled back from calf surgery, her last all-around competition was the Olympic trials last year. Absolutely no problems on this exercise. She was strong. <laughs> oh, but the really important stuff was there. It's all right. The important stuff being the tumbling. She had some problems in some of her dance elements, but here Christy opens up with a double layout. She's been performing this element for quite some time and does it extremely well right up until here, just a little shy on the landing. Christy Powell Where has also I? changed coaches. You see Mary Lee Tracy now coaching her since January and she's joined on her staff by Kim Zameskel, who won the national championship the last time it was staged here in Denver. This is Mohini Bahardwaj in second place after the first rotation, an accomplished gymnastics resume but she told us she wouldn't even have been here had her parents not pushed her into this competition. She's just a little bit beat up, a little bit tired of the long, hard hours of training, but says she's happy she's here now. Big, big event for her. Great vault. Just the tiniest little hop forward on the landing, but this has always been a strong event for Mohini. You know, this vault is only out of a 9.8. This has been devalued since the Olympic Games, but she's really going to capitalize on the maximum value of that vault super. Score for the first vault, 9525. They'll take the average of two vaults. And remember, that is a pretty big score with the changes of the code of points, the rules for gymnastics. That's a huge score, actually. Now you saw a different second vault, not as high of a start value, only out of a 9.6. But remember, both vaults are average. That's why they're both very important. Have to stick the landing. She just isn't quite ready for the ground on this. Not quite as high, lands a little bit lock-legged and bounces back in that big step backwards. A smile on the face of Mohini Bahardwaj. Two solid vaults and looking to move up from her second place standing. Welcome back to Denver as these championships continue. The leader after two rotations now, Mohini Bahardwaj over Lindsay Wing. But don't count seventh place Atler out at this point. She's got two gigantic power events, floor and vault coming up. Well, we mentioned there'd be some new faces in this championship and Lindsay Wing in second place after two rotations, an impressive start on the vault and then also impressive on the uneven bars in the second rotation. And she has been looking incredible in practice. You know, she has the consistency and the big skills to win a national championship. Keep your eyes on her. She moved up from fifth to second after that 9-3 score on the uneven bars. And Dominique Mociano has continued to move up 20th to fourth place after an impressive floor exercise routine. And you know, Dan, it seems so strange watching Dominique come off the floor and no big giant bear hug from Bella Caroli. And as we get ready for the third rotation, let's check in with Beth Ruiak. Well, you saw that smile and wave from Dominique Mociano on the floor, which always seems to say, I'm here, I'm still in this thing. But coming up in this third rotation, Dominique is on vault, and she has said to us that right now that is the area that needs the most strengthening. Also ahead in this rotation, you heard Tim say, Vanessa Atler in one of her power events, floor exercise. She's got two new tumbling passes, brand new tonight. She is nervous about them both, especially the second one. So that's something you can watch. And then Lindsay Wing, who right now is in second place, may be giving you the very best beam routine of the meet, both in tricks and choreography. Okay, thanks, Beth. And Vanessa Atler, how about uh, her trying to match the feet Dominique Mociano pulled off a couple of years ago, going from junior champ to national senior champion in one year? Well, she certainly has the goods to get it done. Kristen Maloney trying to move up. Remember, in first place after the first rotation, now in 16th after the poor bar routine. And Dan, many people were saying that Kristen Maloney could easily win the National Gymnastic Championships, but remember, she has to bounce back from that fall off the uneven bars. But this is the event where she can score big.
One of the few athletes in this competition who has a start value of 10.0 on this event. She throws everything. Watch this combination. Many of the athletes actually claim they have a start value, but a lot of the skills they're doing are very questionable. That's all part of the ironing out process in this year, working out the details, the small details of the code of points. Big leap right here. Very, very tricky. Sometimes these leaps are more difficult than the acrobatic elements themselves. And you know, the judges are going to be more and more picky with elements like that. They want to see the complete rotation. They will take the deduction. They're not afraid to do it. Just getting set for a combination dismount. Wow, that was close. She almost sat that down. Very good fight on the landing, but a big, big step. This is usually Kristen's key event. This combination here, Dan, by the way, gives her six tenths bonus. Very difficult skill anytime you add a twist. That does not look like a move you can practice much and stay pain free. Dominique Mociano next on the vault. And we mentioned the gym she's open. She's been on tour. She's going to school. She has a book out, a clothing line out. I mean, is it take away from her gymnastics, do you think? Absolutely. It's taken away from her training time. She has to be concerned about this event because she's just started vaulting again since February. Certainly not enough time to get top quality vaults in place. Big step on the landing. You got to be in the gym. You got to get the numbers done especially on blind landings like this. At the Olympic Games, she did a vault with an extra full twist on this. Not only easier, but the big step forward. There's a score on the first vault, one left. Again, the average to two. Well, that vault was only out of a 9.6 maximum value. Her second one is only planned to be out of a 9.5, a much easier vault for Dominique. So it is critical, got to stick the landing. Hop backwards, a good vault, but she certainly is going to come away from this event with a low nine, no doubt about it. But still very much in the hunt for another national title. She finished third last year, although she was injured in her defense of the national championship, which Shannon Miller won, and also very much in the picture is Vanessa Atler, who slipped to seventh after the second rotation. As you see the second vault score for Dominique. Well, Vanessa Atler is not worried about making a world championship team, so she and her coaches have decided to go for broke. She is throwing a brand new tumbling routine. The first pass comes right off the top. She said, I usually do well when I have pressure. She's had to create it here. done a double layout it's like she's already performed it in competition before another new pass for Vanessa right here very tricky Oh, did she hang on? Looks like she could have gone out of bounds as well, Dan. Just 15 years old, but just exudes confidence. 
An absolutely incredibly powerful tumbling in this exercise. Great double layout, only small problem. Second tumbling run, you have to stay on the blue part of the carpet. If your feet touches the white at all, going out of bounds, it's a tenth of a point deduction. Is she out? Oh, hard to tell, I don't know. She is so close. But the judges would have raised a flag if she stepped out, no flag. And the score, 9-4 for Atler, and that should move her up in the standings after the third rotation. Dan Hicks, Tim Daggett, Elfie Schlegel, Beth Ruyak back at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships. A look at the leader, Mohini Bahardwaj, after two rotations, now ready for the bars. Dan, she's having a great competition. I think she might reevaluate her decision on this possibly being her last championship because she has been jamming, and this is an excellent event for her. Very tight body throughout this exercise. Most difficult part of the routine after this release skill. She does a huge dismount. Full twisting double layout right here. Another solid rotation for Bahardwaj, trying to keep the lead. I have never seen her look so relaxed in the competition. Absolutely stunning dismount. Took the full twist double layout well above the high bar. Maybe this different attitude, carefree attitude, that she said she'd had coming in after not really wanting to be here at first will pay off. There's her score. Another new competitor on the scene is 15-year-old Lindsay Wing, who moved up into second place just behind Bahardwaj after the bar routine. She may be young, and this is def her first senior national championship, but I'm telling you, she can win this event. I want to set you up for the mount. It's a round off on the board. Three elements, aerial elements in a row. She takes a huge risk on this element. Here's the first one, and she is off balance right from the get-go has to take two of those acrobatic skills out. That'll hurt her. Huge mistake off the top, but here is another skill that she's known for. It's the most difficult, an E element. Oh, beautiful! Whoa! Just can't hang on to it. That is a real shame. You know, in practice, she was hitting her routines two days in a row. I, I hadn't seen her fall yet until this point. Well, like uh, Vanessa Atler, too young to make the world championship team, even if she does finish in the top six, she's 21 days too young. Won't turn 16 until next January. And she has really been on a rapid rise in gymnastics at the 1994 Junior National Championships. She placed dead last. This is such a shame. She is so tremendous on this apparatus. Takes the risks that are necessary to really be a champion. Just the dismount. The step back on the landing, but inconsequential when you consider the mount and then the fall on that major acrobatic element. Too bad. You know, it is a real shame because she includes everything in this routine, taking a huge risk once again on this Arabian element. Just couldn't keep her shoulders lined up with that four-inch balance beam. Maybe a little bit under-rotated as well. And the score, not good, 8-5-5. So Lindsay Wing will fall from her second-place standings after the third rotation. As we take a look, it is Bahardwaj leading the way again. She's led after the second and third, followed closely by Atler, while Lindsay Wing falls all the way from second place to tenth. And through all the pressures of these championships, Dominique and Vanessa remind us that uh, teenage girls just sometimes need to sit down, chat, and have some fun.
new coach, who Dominique says is nothing at all like Bella, we all wonder, and I'm sure Dominique wonders, if life will ever be the same without Bella. He told us before the competition, very, very difficult to fill the shoes of the legendary Bella Caroli. This is a brand new routine for Dominique. In fact, Leave You said this was the first event he had to attack and make some major changes on. Release is coming up right here. Oh, that is gigantic. Actually not the most difficult element in the routine and that is a major deduction. Dismount, double layout, hop on the landing, but... This was one of the events that they were really unsure about. But this combination here, her Ginger Salto through to her Pack Salto, she's done this move before. Now it's not just about falling off the apparatus. Remember, she's going to be losing a lot of connection points big bonus points that are being lost in this routine from that fall alone. She was a little bit off on the skill, but she kind of just fumbled her hands. So after coming back so impressively, Dominic Mociano takes another step back. And a chance for Vanessa Atler to continue to improve, coming off that strong floor routine of 9-4. Here she is on the vault. And she has got two dynamic, completely different vaults. This first vault, she'll do a handspring and then a complete laid out somersault off. Very, very difficult. <laughs> that is one dynamite vault. Let me tell you what makes it so difficult is it's a blind landing. She has to have great air sense. You know, I personally think this vault is underrated in the code of points. Maximum score of 9.8. Very few athletes in the world capable of doing this at all. Excellent score for Rattler on the first run. And as I said, you'll see a totally different vault. She'll do that Yurchenko style, will, where she'll do a round off onto the board, but very, very difficult. She'll leave the horse, do a back somersault with two complete twists. Oh! Wow! And the crowd responds to Atler's second vault. She sticks the landing. Remember, this is a young gymnast who impressively finished second in the American Cup just a few months ago. She is for real. I have to tell you, Dan, that vault was absolutely awesome. You have to take a look at the height off the horse in the double twist, but also pay attention to the distance she covers from this point on. Beautiful execution, bang. Gorgeous vault. 9.65 on the second and the average better than nine and a half. That is the best score in the vault so far, and that could put Atler in the lead after the first night. Now here's Christy Powell trying to move up. She's in third place after her vault. And hasn't she had a consistent competition? And you know, this event should be an absolute breeze for Christy. A couple of things to watch for. The height, the amplitude that she gets on her release skills. She is a great bar worker. And she'll do those release skills one after another. Here's one now back down to the low bar. This is the highlight of the exercise. Look at the height. Not only difficult, but beautifully done. Great landing, great set. How about that for an answer to Atler's ball? Well, I told you you were in for a treat on this event. She has always been spectacular on this event. Absolutely incredible release elements. Not only will she score high because of the content, but the way she executed these skills. Now take a look at this combination. This is absolutely spectacular. Look at the height on that reverse heck. She doesn't stop there in combination to her second release skill, a Ginger Salto. That's a great combo. And look at the aesthetics here. Very difficult dismount. Look at the knees totally together, toes pointed, and kaboom, stick that landing. 
waiting to score. What do you think? 955? Well, you know, for you viewers at home, you're thinking that should be like 995. That's actually a great score with a new coat of points. So here's Mohini Bahardwaj, the leader after the second and third rotations. Her father born in India, her mother born to Russian parents. The name Mohini means illusion. It's for real right now. She has a chance to take the lead going into the final night. Well, Dan, this is in the past ha has been a tricky event for Mohini, but she is on such a roll. I would expect her to hit on this event. First tumbling combination coming up right here. Holds on barely. She's a fighter. Different skill we haven't seen in this competition. A side flip. Ooh, just barely hangs on to that one. You have to be careful with those extra tenths here and there because sometimes they can add up to a full fall, which is a five tenth deduction. So she's already had a couple. Can't afford too many more here. Looking forward to starting her freshman year with the reigning NCAA champions, the UCLA Bruins, in September. Only the dismount remaining here. Double back somersault. Good landing. Tenth of a point on that step back. Pretty steady finish for Bahardwaj after some fighting off some early bobbles. Will it be enough to hold on to the lead? Dan, I think in the early days, Mohini may have jumped off the balance beam, but you know, she struggled, but fought at the same time. Take a look at that back foot. She was really off, but she fought to stay on. This is not going to be a gigantic score, though. Mohini's first night complete. Will she hang on to the lead? as the quest for America's championship continues. Welcome back to Denver, a relieved Vanessa Atler, the current leader, her night complete. And in second place, a smiling Christy Powell. And here is Lindsay Wing trying to bounce back from that poor beam performance, currently in 10th place. Well, hopefully this won't rattle Lindsay too much. She has an excellent routine planned, very high level difficulty in her tumbling passes. Should be out of a 10.0.
shoulder and angular. Where does all that power come from? I yeah. have no idea. That routine, that has everything fantastic. Tumbling, super, super choreography. She d was, however, too far back to Good job. Good job. grab the lead after the first night of competition. And this routine, by the way, was choreographed by Nancy Roach. And, you know, she's done a great job by stressing to Lindsay the importance of <laughs> eye contact, really getting out there and selling your routine to the judges, to the audience. And, you know, sometimes that gets lost in the routines these days. And sometimes it is difficult to teach the younger gymnasts that 9-7 by Lindsay Wing. That's the highest score in any event in these championships thus far. And of course the highest on the floor and the last competitor on the floor will be Kristen Maloney in sixth place. A chance to move up for her and a chance to try and top that fine floor exercise score by Wing. And this young lady has the opportunity to do it. She starts from a 10. She is a super tumbler. Kristen Maloney unsuccessful at the Olympic trials last year, but making her own mark at these national championships. Well, that was an exhausting routine. You know, it opened up really well. The first two tumbling passes were strong, but I think she's going to take some deductions on the last two tumbling passes. This was the second whip into an immediate double pike. And for that combination, she gets two tenths bonus. Very difficult pass to connect. A 9-5 for Kristen Maloney. We'll see how far she moves up in the standings. After the first night of these championships, it's Vanessa Atler with a lead, Christy Powell in second, and Kristen Maloney moves up three spots into third. Vanessa, you not only won the meet tonight, but with those two vaults, you locked up a win in the vault finals, too. Tell me about it. Well, I was really excited about my vaults. It almost felt like a dream. <laughs> it was really weird, but... um. I was really happy with it, and um, my beam felt okay. I was happy that I did my branny in there, and you know that was the thing that I was worried about. And Flora is really excited to do because I had my double out instead of my double front, so I was happy about that. And I think every everything went really well today. I kind of had a little bit of luck on my side because I I've been a little bit inconsistent in my workouts, so I was happy about it. So. You actually said to me that because you're too young to qualify for the world team, you thought you might be too relaxed in this meet and not be competitive enough. That didn't really happen tonight, did it? Well, it happened a little bit at the start. I was a little bit, I think, still a little bit relaxed. But as I went along, I tried to pretend that I was able to make the world. The world, So um, it put a little bit more pressure on me, and I felt better. So <laughs> You're halfway there to being a national champ. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. <laughs> well, at age 13, a couple of years ago, Dominique Mochiana was ready, but a tough start for her on the beam. With all the worries she had heading into this competition, I totally expected her to be very confident on this event. But you never know with beam. Well, she's uh, with Beth Ruiak. Beth? You have a brand new coach in your brand new gym of just two months, and I know how much you want to be able to lead the world team. Do you have a plan right now that you think will work? Will this system work for you? 
well, I'm going to go out there and try to be a little bit more confident and be a little bit stronger and more aggressive and to go out there and do the best that I can right now because it's the first time I'm out here and, you know, I'm not expecting a miracle, but I'm going to go and hit all four events next time. More aggressive. Definitely.